Hi everybody, Wayne here from Lofal Trails. Today I'm going to talk to you about footwear. It's a topic that always comes up on trail. People want to know what type of footwear we choose to use for our activities. When I started out in the bush 17 years ago, this was my first boot, made by Courtney Boot Company. At the time, boots by Jim Green, uh, Rogue, Courtney were all very popular and they're all quite similar. They're all very heavy duty, durable, hardy boots. Thick leather, thick sole, very hard, thorn proof, extensive ankle support, just very robust, very well made. And I wore these shoes for the first two years or so while I was in the bush. And I must admit, every time I put these shoes on, I felt solid, I felt, I felt ready to go to war. But after a couple of years, I realized I wasn't going to war. And such big, heavy, supportive boots weren't necessary for the type of environment that I was walking in. In the low felt, the terrain is relatively flat, easy going, we're not climbing many mountains, there's not that much loose gravelly soil, you don't really need this ankle support. But you're walking often long distance, you want something a bit lighter that doesn't weigh you down. So, I moved to Fellies. Fellies, short for Felskun means bush shoe in Afrikaans. And this was the traditional shoe made by the Voortrekkers back in the 1800s. Very simple, made out of leather. There's a lot of tradition, romance, nostalgia about these shoes. But that's, that's not the reason that they're practical and work well in the bush. First of all, compared to this big boot, look how much smaller the shoe is and how much lighter it therefore is. So it's a lot less cumbersome than the big boots. So first off, you don't get as tired wearing these. Secondly, what I really enjoy and what I choose when it comes to fellies is fellies with quite flat, thin, soft soles. A lot of people will say, ah, oh, but thorns are going to go through. Just look where you're walking. But the benefit of flat soles is that you're actually in contact with the ground underneath your feet. You can feel the stones and the sticks. And because of that, it makes you a lot more stealthy. So you make a lot less noise when walking with shoes like this. So I've been wearing these type of shoes, these fellies, for about the last 15 years. And although I love them, I must admit there are some drawbacks. Leather shoes in general do not like getting wet and dry, and then wet and dry. They get brittle when that happens. And often when you're on trail, you can't help that because you don't have leather food or hide condition or anything like that with you. So what tends to happen in winter when there's dew in the early morning, your shoes get soaked, and then dry out by the time you get back to camp. In summer, after rainfall, again, same thing, your shoes get soaked. They might take a long time then to dry out, but that constant getting wet and drying causes the leather to become brittle. And what usually happens is you start getting cracks or tears along the folds. As you can see in this one here, there's a small tear in that fold. And in this older one here, there's quite a big extensive tear that I've actually tried to stitch. So that's not good, but also leather tends to soak up water and become soggy and heavy and slosh around. So the biggest drawback about leather shoes and fellies in particular is that they don't work well in wet conditions. Another small negative is that generally don't have much cushioning under the sole. So if you're carrying heavy loads and you're walking long distances with a big backpack, what often happens is you, you tend to get bruised underneath the soles of your feet because of very little cushioning in these shoes. So what I always do is I go to a pharmacy and I buy a pair of orthotics or insteps. This just provides a little bit more cushioning in the right places and makes quite a big difference. Another benefit of fellies is that they're relatively cheap whereas big boots and more technical shoes run into many thousands. But be careful when buying fellies because they're not all made equal. Some of the cheaper brands are not designed for walking and will fall apart within a couple of miles. So although I do love fellies and they're my go-to shoe for most situations in the bush, I must admit that there are a few drawbacks and in the future I will be investigating more technical shoes and trail running shoes and see how that goes. But for now my boot of choice is still a felly. And this specific one we designed together with Sapmok to produce a felly that we think is ideal for walking. 
Compared to their regular models, it has a stronger grade of leather and there is increased ankle support as well. So have a look at our online shop and look at our Sapmok Lofal Trails Felskuda.